Our hats off. Oh, sorry to keep you in suspense, but we won't suspend this business of suspenders any longer. It was Sir Isaac Newton, you may remember, who first gave serious thought to the riddle of the falling apple. Well, believe it or not, it's nature's own suspender that prevents the moon from falling like that apple. An experiment that demonstrates the suspender action of centrifugal force. It keeps the milk in the glass, if not in the coconut, just as it keeps the moon in its place. That's more than poets can do. The relations between Earth and Moon are not exactly strained, they're still rather distant. As a matter of fact, Father Earth is trying very hard to make a closer acquaintance. But if the Moon did stop to listen to the old man's blandishments and cease revolving, it would drop with a bump in about 20 hours. It can be proved that when certain celestial bodies pull together, the whole of Europe is raised one foot. The mathematics of solar... Oh, as I was saying, the suspension of molar paragorics, as the book clearly shows. Now, now, why can't you pay attention? All right, I'll wait. Now, as the tables plainly illustrate, these polar heliogra... Oh, nuts, this girl will keep holding up the uh, class. It's hard to know what steps to take for the best. Oh, well, if you want to get entirely out of hand, you'd better get on with it, in the sacred name of science. The other day, a small man with a large head walked into our suspender department with what he described as a long-felt want. But the idea of suspension as applied to clothes is comparatively recent. For instance, yes, believe it or not, when your great-grandmama took cover, she made a job of it. Huh, poor grandpapa. But to be serious for a moment, it's a scientific fact that the heavenly bodies do lift and suspend the old earth. And to come nearer home, as a result, Piccadilly is raised a foot every half day. Raised, mark you, not knocked down. And now hats off to the...